Hey guys, welcome back to CNC Newbie. Uh, today, I'm actually really interested. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is trying to cut down the sound coming from my CNC machine. Now, I've got a few different uh, products I'm going to be trying. Uh, basically, uh, stacking them up hopefully will cut down. Uh, first thing I did over the last couple of days, I uh, did a much better job of making a, a roof and a back panel and uh, screwed on the on the, the glass or the, the perspex, so no more tape holding that on. Uh, the next step, I've, I've got these sound uh, deadener panels I use for your car. This is the Dynamat. And the idea is that these go on your car panels to stop the, the panels from vibrating, which makes your car stereo sound a lot better. Now, what ends up happening with this machine is that I believe these are, uh, are shaking like a drum from the vibrations of the machine, so that's kind of uh, adding excess noise in the room. So I'm hoping that these uh, sound deadener panels will deaden the, uh, the sides of my machine. So that'll cut down a whole bunch of noise, hopefully. Now, on top of that, I'm gonna be adding some of these sound panels. Now, I've got these online. All the links for all this stuff will be in the description. Uh, so these ones are designed to be specially for absorbing sound, uh, for if you're doing a podcast or something. So my hope is that uh, I can, I'm deadening the, the walls from the Dynamat, and this is gonna go on top of the Dynamat and basically absorb any reflecting sounds. So any sound that I'm getting is coming just straight off the machine. I'm just uh, removing a lot of the, a lot of the, the bounce. Uh, so the first step first will be I'm going to do a simple cut. I've just got a simple bit of G curve, just goes back and forth a bit, and we're going to measure the sound. I'm going to start doing the steps of, of adding all our soundproofing, and we'll see how the how the uh, the sound differs. I'm really interested to see the final when it's all done, and uh, you know we can see the with the lid off and with the lid closed and see how it sounds. Anyway, back to you guys in a bit. So I've just got this app on my uh, iPad, which is able to tell me uh, what decibel everything is coming in at. Now I'll hit play here, and it's starting to record. So just my voice, uh, it's coming in about 70 something uh, decibels. Is this accurate? Probably not. It's a free bit of software on an old iPad, uh, but it is gonna be the same. I'm gonna be testing through all of them, so if it's inaccurate, but the difference is all we're really caring about. So this is a quiet room, uh, about 40 odd of what it's showing here. Let's fire up the machine. So I'm gonna... Once again, I'm running at about the, about the one o'clock position on my uh, speedo, just to get a rough idea. So that is just the spindle sound with the uh, with the lid up. So that's it, nice and short. Uh, you saw kind of what numbers we got up to, uh, and that's just uh, doing two millimeter pass on this. So kind of aggressive on pine, but pretty easy. Uh, so that the numbers, they're our baseline. I want to get working on soundproofing this and, and see what we come up with. Back soon. So that one sheet of Dynamat was uh, just enough actually, only a little bit of scrap. Uh, so just to give you a quick look inside, and so I've done the same on this side as I have here. I've got an L shape on the side, a bunch of rectangles in the back. They say you need at least 30% coverage. I think I've got more than that for all the sides. I don't have any on the front. I figure it's too small. It's really not gonna be vibrating that much based on the fact that it's connected on the sides. There's not a big enough span. Um, yeah, let's get this test up and running. So I've got my, got my iPad, I've got the uh, file. I'm gonna only run this with the lid down because that's all we're really caring about. So I haven't seen anybody ever use Dynamat before on a CNC to try to cut down the vibrations. We'll see how it goes. 
turn this guy on. Once again, about the same one o'clock position. It's pretty much going to be the same. I'm not far off. And then we come here, and uh, I'll show you the iPad. So you can kind of keep an eye on, on this. I'll get on the screen. Plenty of vibrations in the side of the machine. They're still vibrating plenty. Um, this is what the uh, the sound recorder is, is recording. Add to the top. Don't worry about them. But yeah, so that's with the Dynamat. Next will be the uh, soundproofing uh, materials. See you soon. Hey guys, and we're back. So uh, back with the iPad. I've uh, installed uh, soundproofing inside uh, on all three walls, the back and the top two sides as well. Uh, going to run the same cut, same pine, same depth, and uh, see how it goes. Turn this on once again, one o'clock. I'm already noticing a difference. I'm not sure if you can tell straight away, but it's a little bit quieter. Not that it was very loud before. Now. On my program here on the computer, uh, noise test. Okay, so we get the iPad out. So what do you guys think about that? Not as big a, uh, a change as I was kind of hoping for. I think from what I was looking at, we maybe lost a couple of decibels from the original. Um, but not much. Let's try the next one. And we do it with the lid up and lid down, see if that makes any difference to how we can proceed. Obviously there will be, because this makes quite a difference. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to position Turn off the spindle, keep it safe, and we're going to move in Y a bunch, about there, in Z a couple, about there will do, reset position, get the speed up, back up and running. So, it seems that the iPad does a really terrible job of measuring sound because it's making no difference. And there's definitely an audible difference. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell there in YouTube land, but with the lid up and the lid down, 
I don't know why this is. Anyway, one thing I've found as well, uh, which will be my next upgrade, I can get different stepper motor drivers. They're going to make these stepper motors quiet. So the sound that you hear when you jog the machine, for example, and that's going to be silent. And so I'm going to be looking, oh, close to silent, because I want to keep the talk up. Uh, so that's going to be the next uh, big upgrade I do to the machine, because that'll cut down at least some sound. Uh, you can't really hear it when the machine's running, but if another sound that I can remove will help. Uh, also, one thing I haven't pointed out is I did make these little uh, plugs just here. That's out of the same foam that I have uh, here, the machine sitting on. Just little plugs to cut out a bit more sound, and they're just removable so that way I can actually still lift the machine as it's designed for. Anyway, that's the video for today. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, is there anything else I can do to soundproof this bit better? Uh, I know that I've got a little bit of gap under here because of the length of my plexiglass that I had. Um, probably covering that's gonna help. I've got a small gap at the back. Uh, I left the gaps, I figured it helps with the uh, airflow, but maybe covering that with a bit of foam, because I've got plenty of foam lying around that same foam, that blue stuff. Might be able to make a wedge that can fit under there. Maybe that'll help. Luckily I can test that out and, and see. Anyway, no big fancy cutting today, just some straight lines. See you in the next one. Bye.